so I've been hearing that we kind of like the YouTube videos better and that they uh, are easier for your computers at school and at home to handle. So I'm going to try to put some more things on the YouTube videos as opposed to the Camtasia files that they uploaded. If that seems to be working easier, then we'll just keep going that way. So I had an email question about figuring out where the supply curve comes from. And if you remember, I said that that's the whole goal of this chapter, is to figure out where the supply curves come from. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run through and uh, do a little uh, demonstration on where the supply curve comes from. So the first thing that we need to, to have on here is we need to kind of draw our marginal cost curve, and this is what it should look like when you graph it, some sort of little kind of J-shape down here and then angling upwards. We then need an average variable cost curve and an average total cost curve. And then basically what this is stating is that the supply curve comes from the fact that we will supply and stay in production as long as we can cover our variable costs. So if this is showing our variable costs, and basically when we calculate an average, we're showing a per unit of production. So if we can cover that unit of production, variable costs, we're going to supply. So what we're doing is we need to find where average variable costs and marginal costs intersect, and then from there, we go upwards, and I'm drawing a squiggly line so you can see the difference, and we would label this as our supply curve. Anything below your average variable cost curve on here on the marginal cost curve is what we would call a, uh, a shutdown point. We are not going to produce, if we, were, if we ended up finding out that we were trying to produce here, we would say no, because we can't even cover our variable costs. We would still produce in between this area because we're covering variable costs. So as long as we can cover that, we can still try to produce. And then anything above average total cost is where we're making profit. And so when I say anything above, what I'm basically looking for is where does marginal revenue fall? So if marginal revenue falls down here, we're not going to produce because we're below average variable cost. If it falls in between here, we would still produce, but we're not making any profit because we're not covering our total costs. And then if marginal revenue is up here, we're going to be making a profit, and that profit is going to be find a, a highlighter and see if that works. We produce where marginal cost crosses marginal revenue. That's our output decision rule. So then to figure out what profit would be, we would take and draw a line down to our total cost and then draw a line over. And if you calculate the area of this box here, that would be your profit.